Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So with recent updates for Windows 10, Microsoft has started rolling out and adding the new Windows Backup tool that lets you back up your PC, which is handy if you want to protect your data, your apps, your settings, credentials, and so on when you move to another PC or if you upgrade to a new version of Windows. Now, this video is in response to a question I was asked that... Um, can you make a video on how to use Windows Backup? So just in response, um, in case you are unaware how to actually use the feature, and um, just to show you how to go about backing up, and for some, obviously this is very obvious, but for others not that obvious. So just to show you in a quick step-by-step -step walkthrough. Now first of all, before we do that, Windows Backup is actually a combination of two existing components that are already found in Windows 10. So before we have a look at the actual process of backing up, as many of you may know, in Windows 10, if we head over to our settings and our accounts page, we have this option, sync your settings, where you can sync your settings and then you can get access to apps on Windows device, accessibility, Wi-Fi networks and passwords, languages, uh, language preferences and other Windows settings. So you have... And options available to backup individual settings pertaining to Windows 10. So first of all, that's the first component that has been included. So you can sync all your different settings. Then if we head over to OneDrive, and we head to the OneDrive settings, the next component that is included is your backup your PC folders. So this has also been included. So basically it's taken the sync settings from Windows 10 and the backup your folders from OneDrive and has popped them and placed them into one app. So as you can see, you've got folders, apps, settings, credentials. So basically it's taken those two components and um, introduced them into one convenient Windows backup app. So it's more or less doing exactly the same thing, but just makes it a little bit more collated into this one app. Now, first of all, um, yeah, you've got your storage to the bottom left of OneDrive. And um, just to mention that you obviously need to be signed up to OneDrive and signed in with your Microsoft account because this backs up your PC into the cloud, which obviously is into your OneDrive cloud storage. So if you haven't got a um, OneDrive account or have signed up to OneDrive, then obviously you won't be able to use this. Now, First of all, your folders, backup files, documents, and photos to OneDrive. So you have the option between your main Windows folders, desktop, documents, pictures, videos, music. You can obviously toggle any of these on and off and backup accordingly to your own personal choice and preference. Now, I'm just going to turn them off because um, this will take too long, and obviously I don't have the space for my music folder. Um, and this has already been backed up um, in another shape and form, but you get the idea. So that's where you can select which folders you want to back up into the cloud. Then we move on to apps. So this um, remembers installed apps and pinned app preferences. So basically, um, when you move over to another PC or upgrade, um, uh, this restoration process will remember all the different apps you had installed previously. And even if they were pinned as an example, uh, to your taskbar. So there we go. You can see um, mine's already backed up, but nonetheless, you'll have the option here to turn this on. Quickly access apps on any Windows device. Moving on to the next, your settings. Remember Windows settings and preferences, and the same applies. You can toggle all of these on. Mine's already been backed up because obviously um, I've read, uh, gone through this process. So that's accessibility features, uh, language preferences and dictionary, other Windows settings, personalization, and so on. And by the way, if you want any more info, you just click on this link, learn more about backup, and that'll give you a little bit more info. And then fourthly, credentials, remember, remember Wi-Fi networks and other passwords. So you get the idea, and mine's already backed up. You just toggle the, the um, relevant setting on or off. And once that's done, you just click on backup, and you can see now that will go through the backup process. And there we go, it's backing up. And this can take a, a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes, even to a couple of hours, depending um, how much data and whatever you are um, uh, backing up into the cloud. I have noticed, though, that even just with settings and credentials, it does take a little bit of time. So it says this might take a few minutes. 
we'll let you know when the backup is complete. So that's more or less how you backup um, your Windows 10 folders, credentials, um, settings, and so on. And as mentioned, basically a combination of those two components. So what this will do is um, if you back up your apps and settings, you'll be able to quickly restore them on a new device. And this obviously saves you a lot of time and bother and helps you get back to all the data and settings and um, credentials that obviously were important to you and just makes moving over uh, from one PC to another a lot quicker and a lot more convenient. So that's more or less, I hope I answered that question, how you can back up your PC using the new Windows um, 10 backup tool. And uh, um, I'll leave a link to the update that brought this um, uh, the actual Windows update that included this backup tool into Windows 10 and I'll leave that down below if you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.